to talk to you about the tutorial attendance policy and sanctions for non-compliance. You might wonder why the university requires students to attend tutorials. So there's a very good reason for that. Our own experience in international research literature shows that when we provide learning support such as tutorials, students perform better. And it's very annoying to the university if we provide tutorials or other such support services, students don't use them, and then they fail when we know they were succeeded. So because of this, the university has decided that tutorial attendance will be mandatory. They don't require students to attend every tutorial, recognising sometimes circumstances change, and there might be commitments that can't be avoided, and indeed sometimes might be clashes. So they've set a figure of 60%. So it's a mandatory requirement to attend 60% of scheduled tutorials. If students fail to attend that tutorial at the level of 60%, then they will fail the course, even if they have passed the course on the basis of assignments submitted and exams and so on. They will fail purely because they did not attend the tutorial at the level that is required. There are some exceptions to this. The policy doesn't apply to, to print mode students, and if a student has a legitimate reason why they may not be able to attend those tutorials, then they can make a case in advance of the course to the head of school and request an exemption from this policy. That will then be recorded so when the school does its checks at its assessment meeting and if it finds that a student has not met the 60% tutorial attendance but has got a legitimate excuse, then the student will not fail. Attendance in satellite tutorials and online discussions is encouraged and is monitored separately, so that doesn't fit in this policy. In summary, students are required to attend 60% of the tutorials unless an exemption has been given in advance or if they're studying by print mode or by online mode. <laughs>